Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about uh, scrap yarns and scrap blankets and something that you can do that's a little bit different from some of your finer weight yarns. So I have a lot of sort of hand dyed yarns. If you have been to my channel before and see my videos, you'll see I'm a sucker for a very pretty yarn. And sometimes you're left with not much after you've finished a project and they're such pretty yarns it's a shame to let them go to waste now i often will make little motifs and lots of people do like granny squares or you know like hexagons etc etc but i actually wanted something that was a little bit more fun <laughs> so i bought a new toy i bought myself a knitting mill which makes i cord it does all the i cord work for you which is great and um you know i had a lot of fun <laughs> playing with my machine which i'm going to show you how to use um but i also wanted to show you just touch upon briefly what you can do with all your miles and miles of i cord <laughs> once if you're anything like me and you just sit there winding away you end up with an awful lot of this amazing stretchy sort of i cord material so I just wanted to show you a couple of ideas of what you can actually do with it. So what I have personally been doing is I am making, it's quite large, I can't get it all in shot. I'm making a sock yarn scrap blanket. You can see I've got a whole host of various different yarns in here. They're all sort of sock weight or very, very fine. I've got some with sequins. I've got some that's hand dyed here and here. I've got some leftover just standard sock yarn that you can buy in the shops. But this blanket here is very very heavy it's got lovely drape i used a 10 millimeter hook and the braid stitch now i'll link to everything i talk about in the description box below um, i found the braid stitch is very economical with the yarn you can get a lot i initially started making this out of just i think i did just half double crochets but it didn't go as far I didn't get as much growth because the braid stitch is quite a tall stretchy stitch and i found that i got most bang for my buck stitch wise by using the braid stitch you are of course free to use whatever yarn stitch <laughs> crochet stitch you would like but i just wanted to show you that actually this is a really fun way to use up your scraps it's a little bit different i also grabbed some double knit yarn here which i've started um I have just wrapped, as you can see, around a polystyrene wreath. I've just tucked the yarn, this end under here for now, because I just wanted to see how it look. But actually, it it's really lovely effect. This sort of eye cord wrapped around a wreath gives a beautiful, soft, textured wreath. So this is something else that I'm doing with it. I just wanted to, before I show you how to use the machine, I just wanted to show you actually what you can do with your eye cord <laughs> out the other side. So it's just a couple of project ideas for you there. So I'm gonna get on and show you how to use and thread up and start using your iCord maker. So I got my iCord machine um, online. Again, I've linked to it in the description box below. Um, mine's a little bit dusty and got a lot of, as you can see, I've been using it quite a lot from the intro. You attach the handle, it just slots in into the side here and it comes with this handy little weight so how you get started with your little knitting machine i have some sock weight yarn here um, i did try double knit it does work but nothing thicker than this i'd recommend because it did start to get clogged up a bit so you thread your yarn up through this little guide on the side then i like to put a needle on this just so it's got a little bit of weight so i'm just going to thread it onto my needle for a second and then you drop this yarn through this little guide and straight down the center so it comes out the bottom down here just take this off now all the instructions I have seen tell you to make a little slip knot at the end here and then you hook this weight 
onto it. But I found, in all honesty, I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway, but just so I can demonstrate to you. I found when I was using mine that this would come off really easily and I kept dropping my weight. So what I like to do is I got a little bulldog clip, which I just attached to the end. And then I put this, it's a bit tight, see if I can get it in. I put it through the eye of the bulldog clip. If you can. <laughs> there we go, it's in. Which holds it a lot more securely than just having that hooked onto my yarn. So that's what I have done just as like a little, it made my life easier. Um, you could maybe use a clothes peg if you don't have a bulldog clip, just something because this wants to come off the yarn quite a lot. So I'm just gonna leave that attached at the end here. And I'm gonna pull this back up so I've got a bit of tension. So when you're doing it, this hangs, I'm gonna try and show you, it's kind of hard from my angle of my camera. This hangs down the bottom and creates the tension for your nice, neat eye cord. So you wanna keep a crochet hook or something, a pokey device handy. So to get started, you want to catch that first yarn on that first hook, but you want to skip this second eye. So just lift your yarn over so it's not catching on that second hook. Rotate it around. And you want the, set the third, this third one here, to actually catch the yarn. And then you want to skip this final hook. So I'm just lifting my yarn over so it's not getting caught in that hook. So to start, you've just got it wrapped around two of the needles. Needles, hooks, there's little bits in the machine. Once you've got it like that, then you are good to catch on all four hooks as it goes round. Now your yarn at the bottom attached to the weight will keep it nice and tense and we'll pull it down. And that's it, you are literally good to go. You just keep rotating your handle. Keep going round and round and round. Make sure that's hanging down here. Oh my, see this pesky thing keeps falling off. Bear with me, I will just pop it back on. Okay, it's back on. I'm gonna have to lift this up in a minute. <laughs> So leave that dangling off the edge of the table, I think. And then you just keep turning. And you can see it's got these little bits that flick closed. And you just keep on turning the handle. Just gonna speed this up. Keep going. And eventually out the bottom, bear with me, I will speed this up a tiny bit. Clickety clack. Okay, out the bottom here is coming, oh, is coming my springy eye cord. I absolutely love this little machine. It's weirdly satisfying just sitting in front of the telly. Look, you can see it all the way through. It's really cool, like it's stretchy. And it just comes out the bottom. So I just spend the afternoon sat in front of the telly, cranking the handle and watching all this beautiful eye cord spawn out the bottom. Let's go do a bit more so you can see it come through. This will sort of hang, I'm dropping it off the edge of the table. So that weight pulls it down. This is a great fun craft. This little machine is relatively inexpensive. You get perfect eye cords spawning out the bottom. It's awesome to do with the kids. You could get the kids making the eye cord for you so you can get on with the fun bit, which is the crocheting. <laughs> and that's it really. I just wanted to show you how much fun this little machine is. It's such a clever, ingenious little bit of kit and just saves you having to knit or crochet your own eye cord. You can just churn it out. 
So I hope this video has helped you A, learn how to use your little iCord machine and B, giving you a couple of ideas of what, oh, what you can actually do with it out the other side. So I got a mega ball of yarn, <laughs> as you can see, which is spawning this amazing blanket. Have you used an eye machine, eye cord machine before? Have, what have you done with your eye cord? Have you made blankets, rugs? This would make a great rug, actually. It's really thick and heavy. I would love to hear your ideas of what you can do with your snazzy eye cord. And I will see you again on my channel very soon. Happy eye cord making. <laughs> Bye.